Umez is very slippery. The bee loses its footing when it gets here and slips. Whoops! As it struggles to free itself, it makes contact with the yellow pollen. And the pollen sticks to its body. Seeds emerge shortly after the pollens reach the female cells. Friends, the seed will allow the plant to have offspring of its own. Every seed is an example of the creative artistry of God. Almighty God, the creator of all things, reveals this in the Quran about the creation of the seed. Have you thought about what you cultivate? Is it you who make it germinate, or are we the germinator? If we wished, we could have made it broken stubble. Flying Seeds These seeds you are looking at now spread by flying through the air. There are some hundred seeds under every white puff. These seeds have a special system enabling them to fly. Look how pretty they are flying about, just as if they had parachutes. This parachute is so effective that seeds can float in even the very slightest breeze. Each of these tiny helicopters you are watching carries one seed. The size of the seed is just right for the length and shape of the wing. This system, too, works just like a parachute. It is intelligent, educated human beings who design parachutes. However, parachutes so much more efficient than those made by human beings are used by plants and they are all just plants. They have no intelligence or consciousness, but thanks to God's matchless creation, they have perfect parachutes for their seeds. Winged Seeds Come on, let's go to the Amazon rainforest. Oh, it's really hot here, and there is no breeze. It must be really hard for seeds to fly here. Yes, it is very difficult for seeds to fly in such hot and windless air. That is why the trees here use perfect wings to send their seeds off to other places. The tree's seed is right beneath the wings you are looking at. These wings can carry seeds for long distances on even a light breeze. Thus, the seed travels a long way from the tree it originally belonged to.
plants that use helicopters. Some trees use helicopters to get their seeds to fly. Look, look! Thanks to those wings, the seeds are floating through the air. If this blade were a bit smaller, the seed would fall to the ground, but in fact, it is just the right size. And the weight of the seed is just right for the blade to carry. Some helicopters have more blades, and the system used is exactly the same as that used by human beings. The American aircraft designer Igor Sikorsky developed the first helicopter inspired by these seeds and their flight system. Thanks to the blades, the seed travels long distances. This means that the tree is able to have its own offspring. It is a miracle how a tree with no mind or consciousness, consisting of a wooden trunk and leaves, can make such perfect wings. Could such features come about by chance? It is the height of insanity to claim that such perfect features could come about as the result of chance. There is no doubt that God created these trees, their seeds, and the aircraft to carry them. In one verse of the Quran, God tells us, Your deity is God alone. There is no deity but Him. He encompasses all things in His knowledge. Plants that fire off their seeds. Some plants use really fascinating ways of dispersing their seeds. Some fire them off into the air. This is a squirting cucumber. Thanks to a special system created by God, the seeds are kept under high pressure. And when the time comes, boom! This is the Himalayan balsam. This system functions so perfectly that the slightest touch triggers the firing system. The force applied is quite strong, and this means that the plant is able to fire its seeds up to five meters or some 16 feet. Plants that use vessels. Friends, some plants use water to disperse their seeds, not just the air. So their seeds are able to travel in water. This plant is the sea bean. Its seeds are some of the best able to travel in water. Friends, traveling in the water is no easy matter. Each seed has its own special package.